Hi Roxanne, this is Blair from LA Mazda. I just wanted to give you a quick video walk around of the Jeep that we talked about. Uh, this one's kind of a goldy beige in color, just like you were looking for. Um, the kilometers on this one, which was the question that I had for you, uh, was around 90,000. I was just wondering if that was an issue. Um, but all around, this vehicle's in really good shape. Uh, after this year, they changed the, uh, the style of the headlights. Um, but this one's got the factory Jeep alloy rims. Uh, it's got some chrome accents along the side and around the windows. As I said, it's in really, really nice shape. Uh, this one is the four-wheel drive, just like you liked it. It's got the flex fuel. If you can see there, you got the backup camera. And we'll look in the back here. There's lots and lots of storage room back here. Um, so we also have a 12 volt DC output right there. This one comes with the uh, full size spare tire. Now this is kind of a cool feature. Uh, so right there, what that is actually is a flashlight. So pop that out there. I don't know if you can see it. Not much light, but more light than what you'd have if you were changing a tire in the middle of the night. Um, this one also does have the cargo cover, as you can see there. Uh, that one is removable and the seats go down to the same level as the back here. Um, we'll take a step in the back seat here and I'll show you how level that those seats go. Um, so in the back here, we do have some extra cup holders. Um, some really nice black leather inside. I just actually got to move this seat up. So this one's got keyless entry, which is really nice. Full power controls all the way around. This has got the lumbar. Some really nice, if you can see there, some black wood grain. Everything is power automated in this one. And so the seats, they pop down like that. And like I said, they go to pretty much level. There's just a little uh, bump in the where the cover is here. Um, oh. So I'll step into the front seat. So this one here has uh, the voice recognition Bluetooth ready. Uh, this one's also Sirius satellite ready. So we have cruise control, we have the volume controls on the back of the steering wheel here. I don't know if you can see that. And I'll start it up. So full touch screen, satellite radio, FM and AM stereo. Um, you can put pictures on here, go to your main menu, your display settings. We also have, as, as I said, the picture view which is kind of handy to have, but grandkids or your husband, kind of need a little addition. Um, this one also has right there, has the auxiliary hookup, put your iPod and stuff in there. Um, if you didn't see, this one is push button start, so as long as the key is on you, you'll be able to start this bad boy. And in the center console, lots of room, we also got another DC output just down in there. So as I said, all around this vehicle is in really, really good shape. The tax screen, all the information on your vehicle. This one doesn't just have the sunroof, it's got the moonroof. Only the front section opens here. I like the idea of the moonroof. It's really good for the kids in the back. I like getting a lot of sun when I'm driving too, so that's always a nice feature. Um, this one here also has um, the ca capability to set up with your um, garage door openers, so you have three preset settings. Um, other than that, this one, I know this one does have the uh, parking assistance in the back, um, and there's also um, the parking assistance for the front. So there's a sensor, four point sensor in the front, four point sensor in the back. Um, well, I hope this was a little bit better than just walking by and looking in the window like you did before. Um, if you're interested in this vehicle, please feel free just to give me a call or you can send me an email. I uh, really appreciate your time, Roxanne. Sorry it took me so long to send you the video. I just kind of wanted to touch base with you about the kilometers. 
But uh, looking forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks. Bye for now.